All right, so happy Monday to you. Looking ahead, a few people online watching. We'll have a, <coughs> excuse me, we'll have a quiz on Monday. Not Monday, that'd be today. Quiz on, on block day. Um, open note, so it's not really, a, I mean, it's in a big deal that it's a quiz, but you can use whatever you got. And I'll also open up a submission thing for worksheets one through three. So that's a good kind of halfway day to quiz over what we know, turn in what we've done, and then get ready for the second half of the of the of the unit. So look for that on uh, Wednesday slash Thursday of this week. All right, let's go over some of the worksheet, the puzzle problems. 12 through 18 on worksheet 2. So what questions do you guys have from 12 through 18 on worksheet 2? I posted the odds in Schoology, but we can do some more if we need to. I'm going to do one more then just because we should do one. Let's do number 18 since it's a hyperbola. Hyperbola with those vertices and that focus. Um, so graphing first is probably the best plan to see what we have here. Not much room to work with. On the test, graphs are not provided for these type questions, but there is a little bit more room to work, so you can at least, at least there's that for you. 2, 2, and negative 4, 2. Are the vertices. So I'm going to label those. And I'm not going to label every single point and make a grid out of this because I, I really just need the graph so I can see what's what this thing looks like what's going on here. So the center would have to be right in between those. Uh, let's see, three away from both would be at negative one, two. And the focus is at six, two. Well, that's way out here. So it's definitely a left and right hyperbola. There'd be a focus on the other side, but I'm out of room and I don't really need it anyway. To, to find what I need for this. So left and right, so the X stuff comes first. The Y stuff comes second. Oops, I made a mistake. What did I mess up there? Minus. It's a hyperbola, so it needs to be a minus there. My brain's not awake this morning, I guess. So let's make that a minus sign. I'll get it in a minute once the uh, whiteout dries. So from center to vertex is 3, and that's in the x direction. So I'll put a 9 under the x stuff. The y stuff's a little bit trickier because I don't have a box to look at. I don't have an asymptote to look at. Um, but I do know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, remember, it's always opposite of this sign, so hyperbolas makes this a positive. So a is or a squared is nine, b squared I don't know. C squared is center to focus, so that would be seven. So Forty-nine. So b squared equals forty. And, oops, I need to fill in the, the center. So x plus 1 and y minus 2. So those make good questions. Because um, they just test if you understand everything about a hyperbola without just the straightforward plug it in and graph it kind of thing. Questions on that one?
All right, then I'll end this video and we'll start today's lesson.